Edward and Sophie are now considered the safe hands of the monarchy. Especially in the wake of the difficulties the royal family have faced in the last few years. They are the only members of the firm to publicly acknowledge Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal exit, and were the first royals to speak to the press about Prince Philip's death in April. However, when they first wed back in 1999, there were many indications that they would not be major players within the monarchy, especially as Edward is the Queen's third son and youngest child. In line with tradition, the Queen granted the couple a new title once they tied the knot. But, surprisingly, they were awarded the lesser title of the Earl and Countess of Wessex rather than a dukedom, which is very unusual for the son of a reigning monarch. A secondary title was also awarded to the pair, as is royal custom, which can then be used by the couple's eldest son. Yet, the couple chose to take the Viscount Seven title, another unusual choice, as explained by royal commentators. Publishing director of Burke's Peerage, Harold Brooks Baker, claimed that the title of Viscount Seven, derived from Sophie's Welsh heritage, was of little significance. Speaking to the BBC, he explained, Viscount Seven was used by minor members of the royal family years ago. It is an 18th century title. There is a history of being given a secondary title so the eldest son can have it as a courtesy title. The title acknowledges Sophie's Welsh heritage as it is named after the River Severn in Wales, the longest river in the UK which flows through Shropshire, Worcestershire and Gloucestershire. James, the couple's 13-year-old son, is currently known as a Viscount, the fourth rank in the British peerage system below an earl but above a baron, a title known in speech as Lord. Edward and Sophie decided not to grant their children HRH titles either upon their birth, even though they were entitled to such a status as the Queen's grandchildren. Sophie revealed last year that James will make a decision on whether to hold on to his royal title and style when he turns 18, a choice which will also be presented to his 17-year-old sister Lady Louise Windsor. Sophie told the Sunday Times, We try to bring them up with the understanding that they are very likely to have to work for a living. Hence we made the decision not to use HRH titles. They have them and can decide to use them from 18, but it's highly unlikely. Before her comments, James was expected to become an earl when his father inherits the Duke of Edinburgh title upon the Queen's death. This means there is a chance James will one day inherit the Dukedom of Edinburgh himself, if he wishes to. Edward and Sophie's decision to take the titles of the Earl and Countess of Wessex stunned royal watchers at the time, especially as Wessex has not been a defined area for centuries. The Earl of Wessex was last used in the 11th century, when King Harold II was famously killed by an arrow through his eye in the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Historian Dr. David Starkey told the BBC, the title itself is total fiction. There is nowhere called Wessex. The title has not been used for a thousand years. Is it the right way to celebrate the third millennium by going back to the first? Mr. Brooks Baker said, he is the first son of a monarch in this dynasty going back to George I not to be made a duke. He has been promised the title of Duke of Edinburgh but we don't know if there will be a monarchy in the future. For his children not to be styled prince and princess is a huge departure as well.